Okay, maybe let me begin with word of prayer. Mm -hmm. Father, as we look at the world around us, there are so many changes, so many uncertainty, uh, whether it be it a civil uh, war or a uh, politically unstable uh, situation. Yet, Father, we thank you for Singapore. We mm -hmm. thank you, Lord, that uh, even as uh, we are fighting the pandemic, yet, Lord, we know that we all have a role to play. Mm -hmm. We pray, O oh God, that even as we look into the book of Joshua, how you have led these people into a promised land. Yet, Father, we know that many a time in our lives, we go through many different battles. Mm -hmm. But, Lord, we pray that you help us to look up, look up to you for your grace and for your mercy. For this we pray and commit ourselves to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, today we are into uh, Joshua chapter 11, verses 1 to 23. Yeah? Today provides us with the theme, just as the Lord had directed. Actually, it's also one of the key uh, Bible verses uh, uh, in scripture uh, on Joshua. Joshua chapter 11, verse 23 is that key verse. Uh, it says, so Joshua took the entire land, just as the Lord had directed Moses. And he gave it as an inheritance to Israel according to their tribal divisions. Then the land had rest from war. Right? This is uh, significant. Then the land had rest from war. So today here, here we see that uh, there's still strife uh, within uh, the claiming of the land. Uh, from uh, Joshua 11 verses 1 to 11, we see that they are overcoming huge odds against their enemies. Uh, so here, Jabin, one of the guys, uh, organized an alliance of dozens of northern kings. Uh. He was a forewarning army that would cast fear into any heart. So you can see these are fierce people uh, uh, in any way. But God assured his people that by the next day, the huge army would be handed over. They had to fight them and would defeat them completely with the Lord's help. So terrible odds is never a problem for the Lord. So whatever stronghold it is, right? God's hand is still stronger than anything else. Second is God granted a sweeping victory, verses 12 to 23. So God hardened the king's heart so that they would continue forming alliances and attacking Israel. So Joshua waged war for a long time. Joshua even destroyed the Anakites, the same people who inflicted such fear in the hearts of the Israelites earlier on. You'll read that in Numbers 13, 33. So God shares his sweeping victories with his people. After seven years of conquest, Israel had finally taken control of the land. So it was a long haul uh, uh, in battling uh, to claim the land. So as we saw, this took much effort and perseverance. Now God gave them rest from war. Now they had peace within the land. Now Joshua could divide up the land amongst the tribes. Now they could receive their inheritance. Israel was now receiving the blessings of obedience and faith, and God had fulfilled all of his promises to them. So looking into today, our Christian life is the same for us. The Christian life is made up of many battles, and we mustn't stop fighting until the final victory. The Christian life requires perseverance, like the Apostle Paul, who must press, we must press on to completion. We are not yet perfect. Right? Consider if you are James, uh, Chapter 1, verse 2 to 4 say this, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Mm -hmm. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. So uh, for us, Christian life is actually a marathon, uh, not a, a spring race. So the one word to remember for all of us today is do not fear, only trust and obey God, right? Do not fear, only trust and obey God. Uh, thereafter, we will uh, uh, reflect on this song, do not be afraid, I go before you always. Uh, this is uh, uh, almost a theme song for Joshua. Okay, let us pray. Lord, we are tempted to do things in our own way, but we see that when we trust and obey you, we can over, overcome great odds and share in your victory. And we ask, O oh God, that your Holy Spirit will constantly remind us as we persevere in Christ. For this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.